Complex fractions. A complex fraction is a fraction where the numerator, denominator, or both contain fractions. You can see a couple of complex fractions on the screen. In order to simplify a complex fraction, there are five steps. The first step is to set up the division problem. And you may be asking, what do you mean division problem? Well, the fraction bar in a complex fraction, or really any fraction, means division. So this would be 1 half divided by 3. So we can set this up like a traditional division problem. The next step is to change the whole number 3 into a fraction. We can change any whole number into a fraction by giving it the denominator of 1. This moves us on to step number 2. Change and flip, or multiply by the reciprocal. And these are the steps to divide fractions. And what it means is we want to change the division sign to a multiplication sign and take the reciprocal of the second fraction, which means switching the numerator and denominator. So 3 over 1 will become 1 over 3. Moving on to step number 3, multiply the numerators. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Step 4, multiply the denominators. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And finally, step number 5, simplify if possible. Since we cannot simplify the fraction 1 over 6, we are done. So 1 half divided by 3 is equal to 1 sixth. Example number 2. 2 fifths over 3 fourths. Step 1 is to set up the division problem. We know it's going to be a division problem because the fraction bar means division. So we can set this up as 2 fifths divided by 3 fourths. This moves us on to step number 2. Change and flip or multiply by the reciprocal. In order to do this, we change the division sign to a multiplication sign and take the reciprocal of the second fraction, which means switching the numerator and denominator. So the fraction 3 fourths becomes 4 thirds. Step 3. Multiply the numerators. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Step 4. Multiply the denominators. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. And finally, step number 5. Simplify if possible. Well, we have to determine if there are any common factors between 8 and 15. If I think of the factors of 8, it would be 1, 2, 4, and 8. If I think of the factors of 15, it would be 1, 3, 5, and 15. Notice there are no common factors. This means that the fraction 8 fifteenths cannot be simplified. So 2 fifths divided by 3 fourths is equal to 8 fifteenths. All right, now it's your turn to try. Simplify the complex fractions. The solution should be in simplest form. I would recommend you pause the video now, solve, and resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's take a look. 2 thirds divided by 3 is equal to 2 ninths. And 5 sixths divided by 3 fifths is equal to 1 and 7 eighteenths. If you had either of these incorrect, I would recommend you pause the video now, review your work, and see if you can determine your mistake. Thank you for watching.